everyone, welcome back to the Growing Together podcast with me, Sunny Vasquez. And me, Cesar Santos. A podcast where we talk about everything under the sun related to growth and becoming the best version of yourself. We are back with another episode and our episode last week on toxic positivity did very well actually yeah it did pretty well for us <laughs> yeah um i think mostly because people disagreed with it though yeah i um, mean like with any other video you know, i mean i, I have, shouldn't say everyone critiques. yeah i shouldn't say everyone because i don't know like of those who watched it only like two people commented and one of them was negative um and so i was like okay well clearly it reached you <laughs> so i mean a views of you i guess um but yeah, how are you? How are you doing this weekend? Caesar? It's Sunday, uh, Sunday. third we- third uh, three weeks we've been here in Nashville yeah, now. Yeah, three weeks. Right. This is start of our fourth. Technically, Sunday is the start of the week. Yeah, technically speaking, you're right. you're right. Um, I've been okay. <laughs> busy. Yeah, busy. A lot of work. Um, just continuing to grapple the all the things that have to do with social media. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a mystery to most anyway. So yeah. I mean, you know more than a lot of people out there, so that's a start. Um, also, being pet parents. <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> Caesar's like not yeah. happy about that because our we finally got a kennel for our little Nash, and she's in there right now, so she can, you know, be a good gal. And she does not at first like to sleep in it at night, so we have to like sit next to her like get her to go to sleep and then like crawl into our bed without her noticing and then like she'll wake up at like four in the morning and need to go outside or she'll start crying and so i have to take her out so it's a huge huge thing and i shouldn't say we because caesar takes her so (laughs) i just i'm scared to walk alone at 4 a.m so yeah no i mean we live in a pretty okay neighborhood and like i I would say that it's pretty safe but, but I still watch too much true crime. Yeah. To start, it's yeah. like she was walking her dog and all the yeah. way to, like, and they never saw her again. again. <laughs> That's what's going through my mind whenever I, like, am thinking about should I do this or should I not do this or, like, how many times have I heard this as the start of a true crime yeah. episode. So, I mean, I do walk her to a lot during the day. I walked her before I put her in there so she could get some energy out. But it definitely is difficult, and I'm just hoping... As she grows, she she learns. She continues to learn because we're doing our best to try to train her. So yeah, I think that she'll. I think that she'll get better. She's just a puppy right now, and you know you can't expect much from them sometimes. The puppy phase, you know. Yeah, the puppy yeah. phase. But today's topic, you know, Saint Patrick's Day is next week. It's next Friday, actually. Saint Patty's Day on a Friday, which means. Great time. We definitely should go out to a bar or something. Yeah. <laughs> that should be fun. Um, and I started to think about the concept of luck, you know, because you got like, oh, that person is so lucky or like good things just happen to this person or, you know, that saying of, like, oh, it's dumb luck, you know, and there's a lot of so many conversations we can have around this, but I guess like the first thing i thought of is like i don't know if you've ever heard of this thing called like lucky girl syndrome no i haven't yeah so lucky girl syndrome it's actually from a tiktok i am so lucky everything works out for me can i just say since posting this video and about 15 times a day just randomly throughout my day saying i am so lucky everything works out for me I have booked a trip to Vegas for a lot, lot, lot cheaper than I was anticipating for my little 17-hour journey. Um, I got my pay raise that I have been waiting on since September. Not only did I get my pay raise, I got all the back pay that I should have been receiving from September. Then, my cousin comes into town from California today, and I see him for the first time in, like, years, and he's talking about his job, and he works with music festivals, and essentially just gave me a list of the different music festivals he can get me free tickets to. Not to mention all the new followers and all the love I've been receiving. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, I've said it a million times in the past seven days of the of this new year, but 2023 is my year. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. This is it. <laughs> this girl it basically explains that she says to herself, it's kind of, it reminds me of manifestation, which we also did a podcast on if you haven't seen it. Um, but you say to yourself, I am so lucky everything works out for me and it's funny because i actually have it on my phone screen right now 
but it says, I have like, I made a little graphic that says, I am so lucky, everything works out for me. And you just repeat that and you believe it. Like you believe it that everything works out for you. And I started to realize, I was like, why do people think that that's what's like, that's the thing that's making things work out for them? I mean, it could be, I'm not like, I'm not against it, but I started to think I'm like, it's kind of like that correlation equals causation thing. Yeah. Like where people think because these correlated together, this caused this. So yeah. I started like kind of saying that mantra to myself is like, I'm so lucky everything works out for me. And honestly, things did start to work out for me. And I'm like, wait, is this working? Because, you know, like you got your job. I like had a lot of things happen, good things happening in our life. We got to move to Nashville. We found an appointment. So it felt like everything was working out. But I'm like, just because everything did, I was like, is it really related? Is it all connected? It's you all know, connected. I mean, if you watch Manifest, is it all connected? Um, so I thought that was interesting to talk about. It's just luck and like the idea of things just happening to people. You yeah. know, like, what do you think? Do you think that there's such a thing as like luck? I mean, I would say there is things that could help someone achieve a goal and that there's like a steps necessary to getting to that goal. So that could sometimes feel like um, someone is lucky, right? But then I, there, are also, there are also people that do have, you know, amazing opportunities either, you know, that were granted to them or given to them or they, you know, they took they took the uh, risk of doing said thing, you know, um, and to them, to some it might be like, oh, because they took that risk, it yielded a positive result means they're lucky. You know, like uh, someone, for example, buying Bitcoin early yeah. on, you know, like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky that you, that you thought about but getting Bitcoin you, in 2008 but, or but something But don't like you that, think you know? it is kind of luck? Because like yeah. no one could have predicted that. Like <laughs> that is something that's truly like, there's only so much prediction around it. So I think like when I think of, when you bring up that, I'm yeah. like, that is insanely lucky because it could have done as well as like Dogecoin, <laughs> which yeah, is like, like wait, so shitty. Or if Doge did, I mean, the thing about it Doge, did good, it did and so then good like, and then just fell. Yeah. But like Bitcoin, obviously it almost hit up 100K and now it's like really low. But either way, if you would have gone in like really early, like yeah. I'm talking about, I, I had again. Well, this was before cryptocurrencies were yeah. even an, a thing. Yeah, I always bring this up whenever. I mean, I think every, <laughs> I think a lot of people have this story. <laughs> she <didn't miss> out. <laughs> I need to bring this story up if I haven't already. A friend of mine, my neighbor, he was like super into tech. Yeah. Like very, he was like into like these like infosec uh, stuff, which is like uh, information security website stuff about hacking and all that. And he was like on IRC chats. And he would always tell me like these crazy things he uh, he like learned or whatever. And then one day he comes to me and was like, "Dude, do you have a hundred dollars?" <laughs> like and this is how he talks to. By the way, he's like, "Dude, do you have a hundred dollars?" I'm like, "No." Like obviously, I was still in like high school at the time. I didn't have a job in high school, like some people did. <laughs> and lazy says I. And he um and he said. If, if you give me a hundred dollars right now, this is like going to be the future and all that. And I'm like, what is That's this like called? That's like Ryan in the office. In the office. <laughs> He's like, it's would like, you yeah. rather have a hundred dollars right now or 5,000? In, in a year, in a, a year from now. <laughs> oh God, that's so true. And that's, it's funny. I can tell it felt. And I was like, I was, and, cause the thing is, the thing about him is he, he was always like coming up with these crazy ideas. And yeah. a lot of them, some of them were like, did yield some success. But like this one was just so far out there that yeah. I wouldn't risk a hundred dollars. But man, if I would have given one hundred dollars, I would have, I would, I would have been lucky enough to be like a multi-billionaire Bitcoin like bro. Yeah, like it's insane because at the time it was like point zero 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 two like a Bitcoin for um for oh yeah one dollar equaled. I'm sorry, yeah, one hundred dollars would have given you so much Bitcoin basically. You yeah. could have bought in so much Bitcoin with one hundred dollars, yeah. like a whole coin, not not like, like a part, not one, half yeah. or a quarter or, or, or like a small amount. So. Yeah, long story short, I would have been lucky if I would have done that, you know? And it's crazy taking though, the risk. too. Like, but that's the thing is I do consider that like luck because it's like what are the chances? Like the chances yeah. are so slim. It's like to the other extent, for instance, like this isn't luck. I guess this is more a bad thing, but for instance, like they give you odds of like certain things happening. Like yeah. the odds you are to get struck by lightning. Yeah. The odds you are to like be in a plane crash and usually those always are pretty slim and they're meant to like be like oh like 
you know, it doesn't really happen. Yeah. It, it only happens this amount of time. So I'm like, imagine experiencing one of those events and you're like, obviously you don't feel lucky because you're yeah. like, what? The chances were so low. But like the same thing with like the lottery. Oh, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's like chance. Like, so I guess like luck and chance kind of go hand yeah. in hand when I think about it. Because yeah, I also think like, for instance, if you take this scenario, this is a completely made up scenario, but say there's someone like, it's like meeting the right person, for instance. Say like you're in like you're out of college you're looking for a job and you're at a networking event or not even networking event say you're at like a bar and you meet someone who could provide value to your career and like there's no way you would have known that they're there like yeah you you was a it was, was like just right place right yeah. time for yeah and it's like yeah. is that not luck is that like not because at the same time it's like when i think about like things that are like lucky it's like things you didn't have to necessarily put in the work for like you didn't have to like it's not like you tracked this person down and found out what they're going to be like. They just happen to be there. And obviously after that, you have to put in some work. But like, yeah, like there's, it's just something that like, oh, for instance, you're going to think this is funny. Remember when the pandemic, we bought 14 ET <laughs> ETVs. Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about and that. And yeah. for Shining Fates, yeah, wanting, Pokemon, to pull the Char yeah, wanting to pull the Charizard. And then Alicia One opened friends. one shining face etb and pulled the charizard and we had open 14 so on paper <laughs> like we, we should have been yeah. the one to get it but yeah. like the luck she had to pull that yeah, you know to pull it was on like, her first one it's insane yeah and like the only she had to do was purchase the box you know yeah there's no way she could have known that that was going to be in there so like that's what i think is crazy is like i think some things are lucky but there's also those people that will say like oh that person's just lucky without seeing like the work they've put in to be where they are. I think Michael Jordan has like a, I don't know if it's Michael Jordan or maybe about some basketball player had a whole thing on luck. Like, he, really? yeah, there's like a famous quote that, that some NBA or you should look it up. You oh, well, it I was going to pull up this article because I was reading about like good luck on this article. And I was like, I guess there's a psychologist. He's a professor at the University of Hertfordshire. And he has a best-selling book in, that is called Luck Factor. And he studied, like, like luck, but also people who are unlucky. And he said one woman reported having eight car accidents in one 150-mile journey. She was also unlucky in love. After joining a dating agency, her first date fell off his motorcycle and broke his what? leg. The second date walked into a glass door and broke his nose. Eventually, she met her future husband, and the church they were going to get married in burned down the day before the wedding. That is insane. Wow. So, like, I guess in the same way you can be lucky, you can be unlucky. And I'm just like... What are like? What is the cause of that? Like, who deserves that much pain in their life? That would suck. That would suck. Yeah, and so it's like this. Like an article talks about like, can you change your luck? And it says what the work shows as a whole is that people can change their luck. Luck is not something paranormal in nature. It's something that we are creating by our thoughts That's and behavior. behavior. That was my first thing that came to mind too. Yeah, so I I agree with that. Obviously, if there's some science behind it, obviously, like if you behave a certain way, it's similar to ma manifestation. Manifestation isn't things happening to you; it's things happening through you and through your actions. And so the same thing happens with luck. Is like, which to me, I guess it doesn't mean it, it doesn't make it luck. You know, like if you're working towards it, I feel like the con the definition of luck is that it just like it's something that happens to you. I also, whenever I think of luck, it's like you've uh again like i said you've 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 uh, put yourself out there in a certain number of times and in order to like achieve a certain goal you know whether it's yeah. uh finding the right life partner or finding a dollar on the street or something even like you know when you ever if you've ever found money on the street as you're walking it's like one of the most like i can't believe i found five dollars yeah or a hundred dollars i had a friend of mine uh in elementary school who found a hundred dollars on his way um on his way to school and he was like bragging about it he ended up getting the hundred dollars taken away um but yeah he had his parents had to pick it up yeah but yeah it's just like one of those things like you put yourself in the in the right place at the right time or you've you had a certain amount of uh, different moments in your life where you uh you risked and then the reward was obviously great what's well, the definition of luck though the definition is success or failure apparently brought by chance rather than through one's own actions so so this is more of a based on what oxford yeah. oxford's definition of luck is that you what's the example they have down there it's hard to read 
It says it was just good luck that the first kick went in. Um, it's like luck is the phenomenon and belief that defines the experience of improbable events, especially improbably positive or negative. So like the chances, like oh, what were the chances that happened, or like what were the chances that this happened? That makes sense now. Why the four leaf clover clover is associated with luck because like it's, what are the it's chances a, you find one? It's a genetic defect in the clover to have yeah. four leaves, so it's. So it's, you're very lucky to find one. Yeah. I mean, it's also like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you shouldn't like you shouldn't be able to find one, but when you do, but you do, and it's it's luck. Yeah. Wow, that that makes so much sense now. Well, like you yeah. know what is it? They say like a rabbit's foot is lucky. I'm not sure where that well, came yeah, from, sure, yeah. but it's supposed to be lucky. Um, but yeah, when I think of it, I just think about how so many people can rely too heavily on. The fact that things will happen to them to where they don't put, like, the effort in. Yeah. Because, like, maybe they have had a series of good fortune and, like, you're correlating these things and thinking that you don't have to work for them. Yeah, that you're, that people are just lucky. And, and yeah. And you, cor- you correlate that, oh, I'm, I am just unlucky. Uh, that, that's why I don't I don't get good things or bad yeah. things happen to me because I've, I'm unlucky. I've, I've heard, you know, very, that's, like, the very negative yeah. way of looking at it. And I've heard a lot of people And if say you that. tell yourself that, though, yeah. if you tell me, like, only bad things happen to me, like, only it bad makes, things will happen yeah, to you. <laughs> like, it's like because you're yeah. like you're you're what's it? It's the what's the word for it? Um, something. <laughs> Nash is crying. Um, the prophecy. Um, something. Oh, self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, self fulfilling prophecy. Like, yeah. if you think that way, like, yeah, obviously bad things are gonna happen because you're only like. That's <laughs> just. Um, but yeah, obviously you think that just bad things. Sorry. Obviously, yeah, if you think bad things are going to happen to you, they probably will happen to you. It's funny because I think that people who, like, are in that, like, mindset will, will can't switch to the positive things because maybe they're like, well, I have thought positively and nothing works out. It's like, well, it's not just thinking positively. It's actually acting positively, too. You yeah, know? there's a like, lot involved with that, too. So I think that's, like, the miscon- misconception with, like, luck is that, like, because it is defined as something that happens by chance, but like, how many things actually happen by chance in this life? You know, how many things actually happen without you actually having to put? <laughs> how many things actually happen without you having to put? Without you having to put work into them? So, do you think that there's anything that actually happens just by pure luck and not by like actual work that you put into it? In the, in those cases, obviously, even uh, buying, for example, a lottery ticket. You still have to put in the work to buy a lottery yeah. ticket, right? And then you, the odds are, you know, Against not really you. in your favor in <laughs> there, right? You have a higher chance of getting struck by lightning, like, yeah. like we were talking about earlier. No, I mean, what immediately comes to my mind is a book by Mark Echo called Unlabel. And there's a chapter oh, in there. That. You read that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had a bunch of opportunities that were like, again, not lucky of him. He was uh, in the right places. Uh, he had the right like artistic background to create this worldwide recognizable brand who i mean even to this day it's still recognizable in my opinion uh but maybe it's just an age thing but he uh he ended up finding a guy to create that gave him the ability to create the t-shirt design that he wanted because apparently at the time it was impossible um what he thought was impossible but a guy showed him and he had to risk his own life to do it to find uh the solution for that problem that he had and and that's what helped him, you know, build his brand out. There's learning that design technique um, for like T-shirt printing, and for him, it required him to put himself out there, put in the work. But it yielded him finding somebody who can help him out to like do this very specific thing that like was not so popular at the time in the T-shirt uh, design and manufacturing process. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that that required him to to put in the work and. Some would say he was lucky because he was able to find that solution. It wasn't. I easy think thing. some think it goes back to like what people see when people see someone who's successful. I think they try to find every reason as to how they didn't earn like what they have. So they yeah. say it's like, oh, it was just luck. Like they just everything just lined up for them. Not like completely disregarding all of the work that it took to get there. Yeah. Like you know everything in the behind the scenes that you don't see about what it takes for instance in mark echo's um story like to build a brand i read that book and it's like yeah it's a it's years in the making but because it just comes out overnight it seems like overnight success it seems like overnight success and i think that's like something that also isn't really a thing but people get so like 
drawn in by the fact that things just happen to some people and they just want to be that person and they don't know how to make it happen for themselves. I don't fault people for thinking that they can't make it happen themselves because I know I've been in that position before and that I've had those same similar thoughts like years ago. It's more of what do you need to do in order to put yourself in these lucky situations, you know, like to find the right amount of luck you know, yeah. that you need in order to succeed and to, and to build your brand, your business, or maybe your career, maybe finding the right person or whatever the case yeah. is. Yeah, at the end of the day, if anyone like, you know, when I'm making it real big, because it's just the beginning, like if anyone says I'm lucky, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to be like, I'm not lucky. This is what I've been working towards. This is what I deserve, you know. Um, and yeah, I just think, I think that's just such a sad thing, like that people will just discredit like others just because they just think it's not something that happens because it's not something that happens so frequently it's something that's yeah. luck i think that's how we associate things things that don't happen as often are things that are just people are lucky yeah, to experience people are just, you know that person's lucky yeah, that's the thing is that that's the one thing i remember hearing uh, growing up as a kid oh that person's just lucky yeah yeah but they aren't like i mean i guess in some cases again there is some cases i think that like you know for instance um just, I guess I don't know. I don't know if r luck is essentially the same thing as like right post, like right place, right time. Like if you just happen to be, for instance, if you happen to be in LA and you went into celebrity, like, and you didn't obviously you weren't like hunting for them, <laughs> hunting for celebrities, but like you went into celebrity, like it kind of is luck in a sense that like it didn't, like it could have not happened. You could have just had like a regular day in LA without like any celebrity spotting. Because I know I've been a few times. I've never. I've been a few times and have never seen a celebrity and that's made me so upset I'm like, I see people meet people all in public yeah. all the time. So why doesn't this happen to me? But at the same time, like there is that um, like, oh, well, if you were going to be somebody to meet a celebrity, it'd probably be LA because that's where a bunch of them are. So like you're in the right place. Um, you're putting your, your, your chances of seeing are higher. Are higher. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it comes back yeah. to chances. Like what are the chances this happens given the current scenario that we're in where we are like where celebrities are located so like yeah you have a pretty high chance whereas like if you're in i don't know arkansas yeah well, <laughs> probably not happening low. exactly like probably not happening i think that people don't consider that either it's just, like what is the current state of the situation like for instance if you wanted to be a millionaire and if in order to make that happen, like, that's not going to happen overnight unless, like, I don't even know a case scenario where that would happen overnight, you know, that you, unless you won the lottery. Yeah, the lottery I guess that's won, overnight, yeah. but, um. Struck gold somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but you would have to, like, put into place to make everything. It's really just making everything come together. Like, you have to put together the puzzle pieces of, like, making the situation what it is. And I think people, like, don't think about, like, how much control we have over, certain situations like obviously there is a lot of things in life that we do not have control over like we can't control the weather we can't control um some of the things that happen to us like but there is a certain level of control that we have to where we can change our lives it's just much harder and i think that's what people don't people like are like it's just it feels impossible so i'm just not going to do anything about it you know like i think about like where we are right now and where we were and like that isn't luck you know yeah. a bunch of things that did happened. come yeah. together like a bunch of th things came together uh, a bunch of things came together at the same time to where like the puzzle pieces were like forming what needed to happen in the lives that we wanted um but it took work and it's still taking work and it's like we can't neglect like what we want like if we just neglect what we're working towards like yeah it'll all go away yeah like this is not something that we can just not nurture it's the same thing like with the plant like you know if you plant something you've got to take care of it you've got to nurture it obviously if you don't do that you're not gonna it's not gonna bear any flowers it's not gonna bear any fruit if it's like a tr fruit tree it's all the effort that you put into it and i don't know like, i think people just sometimes it's it's hard to see it that way when yeah. it feels like, especially if it feels like everything around, everyone around you has some insane luck. Like, if you, I don't know if you've ever been around that person, the way it does feel like they're always lucky. Like, these things just happen to this person. Like, they have, like, the wildest life, you know? Yeah. Have you ever been around someone like that? I mean, it's funny that you've mentioned good or bad, but I have 
I have known people who, um, like their last name apparently bared bad luck and it was like a thing in their family, which again, it's like, <laughs> it's like, curse. yeah, like a family, like last name. And, um, and again, it's like one of those things is like, if you, if you, if you believe it, it it's going to yeah. end up, you're going to end up feeling that way. And obviously you'll end up maybe putting yourself in bad situations. But then again, I, we all come from a different background, so I don't know. Right. But as far as good luck goes or like, you know, good luck, right, goes. No, I can't think of anything right now off the top of my head. You the know? thing is with like bad luck, I felt like, for instance, I felt like when I was younger and a kid, um, my family went through some really hard times. And this is like the selfish kid in me. Like, you know, you're pretty selfish when you're a kid. Um, those hard times always happen to fall around Christmas. <laughs> And, like, not to say that I didn't get great Christmas gifts. Like, when I, I'm not saying, like, I went without because I really didn't. But, like, I remember, like, my parents always, like, we'd go through particularly hard times during, like, the Christmas season. And not because, like, we were out here spending money on gifts. It was just, like, things just didn't seem to align. And as a kid, you can't understand, like, why my family? Why does this always happen? Why are we always in this situation? And I thought, I was like, we just have such bad luck. I was like, we have such bad luck to where this always happens to us. And I don't know. It felt like, it did feel like it was like something that we couldn't change. Um, and I think sometimes situations you do feel like that. Like there's a Kevin Hart bit. And I don't know. It's not a comedy bit, but I think he was like on a podcast. And he was like, it sucks like when you're putting in all the work to change your situation but things aren't changing yet because mm -hmm. it takes time. Like yeah. um, things have to compound. Like the work has to compound time and time, time over time over time to actually see the fruits of like what you've been working towards. And I think people, including me, lack patience of like, of you put in all the work and when you start to not see anything happen from it, it can get like, you can grow very impatient and not want to work towards it because you're like, well, what I'm doing isn't working like I'm doing all the I've had conversations with my friends too especially like if you're a COVID graduate and if you graduated in 2020 I feel like it was exceptionally hard I mean who could have predicted that like, oh yeah who could have predicted yeah. COVID happening like especially like being yeah just out of college COVID happening trying to find a job like just the cards not in like your favor like at all um but I have friends that I graduated with that are, are just like, I feel like I did all the right things. You know, we did what society tells you to do. Go to college, um, get an education, like, and like, you know, work and do all of the things and still feel like you're not in the place that you should be based on like the effort you're putting in and based on like what other people have that are your age doing the same thing, you know? So it's like, you then have to discover, like, what do I need to be doing differently? Like, what what else do I have to do to make something happen in my life? And I think some people go and get to a place where it's just like, there is nothing else. I've been doing absolutely everything, you know? Yeah. Do you think that, like, there comes a point where you, there is absolutely no answer to, like, changing your situation? Or do you think that, like, it's just... You know, you have to keep going. I think you have to keep going, but I mean, some some um, some things do require like drastic changes, and I think a part of it is, you know, we're all human. Yeah. Is uh, we have our own like biases about things, and we we all think certain things should be done a certain way. Yeah. Um. So sometimes it does require like someone from the outside looking in, who's actually looking, who's actually looking who's you're obviously maybe even paying for if you're looking for like a therapist but they, yeah. they to require that kind of level of intervention to be like oh maybe i should be doing x y or z instead of what i was doing before in order for me to you know make those drastic changes that you're or to drive those drastic results you're looking for which is why like a lot of company talk, going back to the business aspect of it a lot of company companies if like they'll hire outside consultants for like to optimize their oh, their businesses yeah. and workflow. I remember reading the story of um I forgot who exactly it was, but in a, in a sense this business was like wanting to not cut costs but like obviously make more money. Yeah. Um and they had this outside consultant come in or consultants come in and, and like analyze like the workflow of the workforce and they realized like wait, like these 10 people here are doing this 
the same job that can be done by five. And like basically they ended up figuring out that they needed to like reorganize a bunch of stuff in, in the in the work in the workplace. And like because of that, the outside consultant who has no biases and doesn't know what's really going on was able to figure out like how to grow more revenue because of that. So and and if you want to bring this more into like a personal life is uh, or your personal life, those of you who are watching, it's like those of you that want to lose weight or gain muscle. Like you say, oh, I'm, I'm doing all the right things. But it's like, are you really? And then it's like, have you counted your calories or have you That's counted? That's actually not actually efficient way to lose weight. Well, I'm just I'm, I'm just throwing out examples like, out there. Maybe it's like, are how are you are you uh, still eating the same exact? amount of food or caloric intake i don't know if that's something that people do or like are you putting in the extra effort to go out and actually work out if you're looking to lose weight or ride a bike run i don't know do elliptical like do something that you're actually that will actually yield you to you know reach that goal that you have and maybe those people need like a a personal trainer personal trainers uh help out with that right it's also like a like a a like not super accessible oh no again yeah again and there are you know not saying that everyone so that's afford- what i'm saying is yeah. like so in that situation like how do you move forward like how do you move forward and i don't who, think you should like, give up or way. like what what if they are doing everything right and like it's yeah you know so like and there could be an outside factor you know yeah. it could be something to do with their health but we don't know yeah I mean, we're but talking the about, thing is you know, with like that. outside consultants i've always been so curious this is like a random tangent because I get that like they don't have a bias so they can see things differently from the company, but they also don't have the inside knowledge to fully understand everything from like a company perspective. But I've never really understood consultants because I understand that they can see like things without a bias, but I also think some decisions should be made by like an inside person because they have a better understanding of the company. And like, I think that inside insight is so important and like you can tell someone everything you know about like the company you work for to give them the information but they'll never like understand it as well as you do so when i think about consultants i'm like how effective is that because yeah i just i don't know it really it really confuses me like but it i mean obviously there's a whole industry for, of consultants i know i don't know like them personally but i know a bunch of people in consulting it's a huge thing right now um so yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's consultants for every, every like uh, everything. Sort of thing consultants for leadership, consultants for like operations, all that kind of stuff. So I mean, there's even I mean, they're not technically called consultants, but in the sense, if you think about them, think about it this way, like people that uh, are life coaches, you know, yeah. that, that sell that sell programs or whatever. But in the sense, like you're you're meeting with them and you're explaining to them your life and where you want to go, and then they they consult you on what best practices they need to do in order to get there so like in a sense i also think this is what goes on in my head like with that is like you're only gonna get as much out of that as like you You put put into it and like if you're not honest for Mm -hmm. instance with like a life coach or like or a therapist or like even with like a regular consultant at a business if you like don't tell them the full truth they're gonna have like the information they're gonna use information that they have and like then they might not make the right decision because they didn't have the whole you know picture and i think that that's so hard for us as people to like paint the picture for what it is like you know the game of telephone yeah and like when you would play it like you never get the same answer because everyone like once you once it goes through so many like communicators it's no longer the same message yeah and i think that that happens like even when you're like if i'm telling you something that happened today like I might exaggerate, like, if it was like, wow, I saw this huge spider, you know? It might have been, like, fairly tiny. But, like, in my mind, it's huge because I'm terrified of spiders. So any spider is going to be pretty big. Um, We have that, like, that exaggeration or, like, that not wanting to play ourselves as the bad guy. So we don't tell the full truth and we make it seem like, hey, we were in the, I was in the right. And, like, so when you explain something to someone, like, the context gets left out, you know? Yeah, I mean, especially in regards to the size of a spider, right? That's yeah. that's a little insect, but yeah. if it was something more concerning, like I don't know, fill in the blank, but like it could definitely yield a different result at the end. Yeah, of, of it, especially if it had to do with like your, you know, your business or your life or whatever the case yeah. is. Luck exists, but not in the way that it like we see it. You know, it's not that people are just 
good things just happen to people because you know you've ever heard that saying good things happen to good people yeah that was another one that was one of the one of the other one of the other sayings i remember hearing yeah. about and then there's also yeah. like oh why do bad things happen to good people and it's just yeah. like because i think it goes back to like i think we talked about this kind of last week too it goes back to like in order for there to be good there has to be bad there has to be the opposite end of the spectrum so i mean like, yeah wherever wherever there is good there's also bad there's also some sort of level of bad you know yeah. like in order for i mean now you're talking about like you can no, you can no but it's like an equal it's like an equal equilibrium yeah. like you know like you got they like i feel like everything there's an episode of um there's an episode of seinfeld where jerry's like everything just always works out the way it needs to is like he goes like if he i think it's like if he like breaks up with the girlfriend he gets a date the next day he's like oh it just always evens it out and then like as things are evening out in his life bad things are happening to elaine oh and so it's like you know there's the good happening to someone and bad happening yeah. to someone else so i feel like that's very much life it may not as like but i think in the context of like if something good happens in my life it doesn't mean something bad's happening to you it might mean something bad is happening somewhere else you know like not that it sh- needs to happen. Like, I don't want bad things to happen, but I think they both have to coexist for there to yeah. be, like, an equal, um, yeah, just equilibrium, I guess. I don't know. Luck is just very interesting, especially when you think about, like, St. Patrick's Day coming up and, um, you know, four-leaf clovers and lucky charms. Lucky charms. <laughs> <laughs> like, or, like, what we, um, you know, I don't know, it's kind of like superstition, you know, like... I mean, there's the other there's there's the other superstitious aspect of um, I'm not you know, superstitious, but I am a little superstitious. <laughs> I mean, again, it's it's funny though because if you think about obviously Saint Tra- Saint Patrick's Day is coming up, and that's part of what we're talking about on this podcast is like luck. But um, the saint himself that it's named after, oh, I'm, I, it's been a while since I looked into his story, but he was associated. I think he was associated with just giving gifts. That's what it was. I don't think it had anything to do with... Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong saint. Yeah, look it up. Before the end of the 7th century, Patrick had become a legendary figure and the legends have continued to grow. One of these would have it that he drove the snakes of Ireland into the sea to their destruction. Patrick himself wrote that he raised people from the dead in a 12th century haggy had geography places this number at 33 men some of whom said to have been deceased for many years he also reportedly prayed for the precision of food for hungry sailors traveled by land through a desolate area and a herd of swine miraculously appeared another legend probably the most popular is at the of the shamrock which has him explaining the concept of the holy trinity three persons and one God, to an unbeliever by showing him the three-leaf plant with one stalk. Traditionally, Irishmen have worn shamrocks, the national flower of Ireland, and their lapels on St. Patrick's Day. You know, it's kind of related to, like, miracles. Like, oh, like it's, you know, like, when someone gets into, like, an accident, and, like, it's like, oh, they shouldn't have survived, but they walked oh, down yeah. the state. It's like, yeah, yeah, really, like, it's like, what are the chances? Like, it's luck. It's a miracle. It's kind of all interrelated. Yeah. Um. So... Yeah, yeah miracles are, are in a sense like people are lucky to survive in situations like that. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. But I think we can conspire our own luck. It actually said in this um, article, um, <laughs> there, I guess there's a luck school. It's like this professor ran a luck school um, and taught unlike, unlucky people how to act more like lucky people do. Oh. <laughs> the result, in total, 80% of people who attended luck school said that their luck had increased. On average, these people estimated that their luck had increased by more than 40%. And not only were they luckier afterwards, test results had showed that they were also happier. Hmm. So it says how to, how to maximize your luck. It says maximize opportunities. It makes intuitive sense if you look lock yourself in your house how many exciting serendipitous things are going to happen to you not many (laughs) which is true like if you never put yourself out there nothing's gonna like change you know so i feel like that's that's pretty logical it says certain personality types are luckier because they tend to create scenarios that maximize opportunities and therefore increase luck who is more lucky so it says people who are extroverted they have more times with others more interesting possibilities yep People who aren't neurotic, (laughs) 
Tense, anxious people are less likely to notice and take advantage of opportunities. I feel called out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I, like, if you're anxious, you're neurotic. Um, people who are open to new experiences. If you resist the new, you're probably not going to have many interesting things happening. So, I think the second thing is to listen to your hunches. So, Lucky people act on their intuitions across many areas of their lives. I feel like this is such bad advice because, like, my intuition tells me that I should eat wings every single <laughs> day. So, like, I don't know. I feel like it's definitely, like, that's something that you have to be careful with of, like, li- really, like, when is your heart telling you something and when is it not? Yeah. You know? I mean, obviously. Your if intuition. Your intuition on something good, you know, versus something bad. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you get in a van at a gas station because your intuition says, like... It's got candy in there. It's got candy. Or, <laughs> or the side says hope, like, you know, in some, like, crazy, like, murder... Um, not murder mysteries, but, like, you know, uh, true crime. You yeah. know, there's some, there's some crazy stuff. But anyways, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing is to expect good fortune. So just be optimistic, essentially, of, like, yeah. good things will happen to me. Which ties back to lucky girl syndrome i'm so happy or no i'm so lucky everything works out for me so i feel like if you do think everything works out for you you're more inclined to like actually have things work out for you because you're gonna put in more work to make sure it does probably in a better mood too yeah exactly Mm -hmm. turn bad luck into good um lucky people see the positive side of their bad luck lucky people do not dwell on their ill fortune um Lucky people are convinced that any ill fortune in their lives will, in the long run, work out for the best. Um, so it's basically saying, like, you know, be positive despite bad fortune, which yeah. is interesting, um, to say the least. Um, but yeah, so I think that, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty logical that that would probably increase your luck. But at the same time, I'm like, is it luck if you're just, like, you know doing these things because i don't know luck is like i feel like again not having to put any work into it but i don't know maybe it's yeah. not according to the definition it definitely seems less like you have control over yeah versus this is like things you have very much control over of how you act and how you behave yeah i mean luck and off like like, like we're talking about a second ago luck can often be associated with a miracle you know whether especially you know worst case scenario you put in your life there's always something good to come about it. So just continue to put yourself out there and put yourself in more positive situations that will lead you to have, quote unquote, good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Break a leg. Yeah, I think that we have some control over where life goes and the luck that the luck that we experience. And yeah, it definitely starts with putting yourself out there. You know, I think that, yeah, I think, I just think that there's some work we have to put into every situation. You yeah. know, there's, we are to some extent the creators of our own destiny yeah like obviously again there's things that we can't control but there's like focus on what you can control focus on what you can do focus on like the what you are capable of in this moment yeah and then like the rest i think falls in line yeah it can work itself out exactly Mm -hmm. well that has been today's episode Um, We hope you enjoy it. We hope that, you know, you're feeling lucky. You are lucky. You know, (laughs) you're doing things to increase your luck in your life. But also just know that you're putting in, like, working towards becoming a better person. I think that this is also related to the fact that, like, there's so much work that we have to put in to be better people, too. Like, you don't just become the person you are by luck, either. Yeah. We obviously are born, all born into different circumstances and whether that's unlucky or lucky, like we have the power to like change them. And I think um, growth is a huge part of that, of where you end up, of like when you realize what pattern or like where you want to be, you have to put the effort in to get there. I actually got a negative comment. I mentioned it in the beginning of this episode. I got a negative comment on the last um podcast on toxic positivity and someone was like this podcast is never going to go go anywhere you should just stop and I posted about it on LinkedIn because I was like you know a year or two ago like this random internet stranger commenting this probably would have made me stop I would have felt like man I am such a failure man this is so stupid like why am I putting myself out there like this but 
you know, that in itself is growth. The fact that I didn't quit when they said that or, you know, that I don't really care that they said it because it's more of a reflection of them and not me <laughs> and anything. But I posted it on LinkedIn about it and um, everyone, I got such good feedback about it. They were like, you know, that just means you're in, headed in the right direction that, you know, um, some guy that I used to work with, I shouldn't say some guy, that sounds bad. One of my old coworkers, his name is Brandon. He commented, he was like, I remember being so excited about the first negative comment I got on a blog I started because that meant someone read it. And I think that's the same thing. It's like, that means someone saw it, you know? Yeah. A hundred people saw that podcast. So it's like, oh, that's so exciting. Um, and then like my CEO of my company starts commented and said like, you know, the, they're just like, you know, basically upset because you, you see your potential and you're growing towards your potential. And like the more that you do that, the more of this kind of sentiment you'll get because people like, People almost hate to see it. People hate to see others succeed, (laughs) which is such a shitty thing, but people hate to see others succeed when it's not them. And it's a very powerful thing to be able to sit back and be happy for someone else's success. And a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people struggle with other people being successful. That's true. And then some will even like, obviously like create some hateful, uh, I mean, I guess they could create hateful rhetoric towards that individual and have yeah. this idea in their mind about who they are but then when they really don't know who they are because they never really even met them or come to understand who like their opinions or whatever the case is and yeah, yeah like there's a lot we can learn from each other for sure exactly mm. so yeah that was that yeah. but we hope you guys enjoy this episode i always mean to say this in the beginning of the podcast but please subscribe to this channel subscribe on youtube if you're listening on apple Podcasts or spotify or any of the other podcast platforms please leave us a review you can sign up for automatic downloads just super helpful to see who we're reaching and what we can do for you guys um what episodes topics you would want us to cover because there's so many that we yes. still can do this has been growing together with me sunny vasquez and me cesar santos we hope to see you again next week see you guys later <laughs>